Hey y'all, this is Braxton with Coastal Nissan. I'm going to talk to you about our two Nissan Aria models that we have here. We have starting off with the first one, we have the Engage model, which is Nissan's kind of entry into the Aria. So if you're going to get started with an Aria, this is the way to go about it. The next one over there is the Evolve Plus, longer range. It's going to go over a couple different features that are offered on it as well. I'm going to go over that with you. So starting off with the Engage that we have here, you're going to have a mileage range of 216 miles. You know, give or take a few miles depending on how you're using the electronics or how you're driving. A couple things this thing's gonna be that you're gonna notice. You have a very spacious interior. You even have the adjustable center console. And a large screen right here. All right. As you work your way to the back, you're gonna notice a lot of space in the back seats, heated back seats also front. So front and back heated seats are really nice. Now this one does not have a moonroof or anything. If you work your way to the back, I also notice the manual lift gate. There's a couple things to kind of help it get in battery range, less things that are gonna be using power uh, as well. If you work your way over here to the Evolve Plus, there's a couple differences with this one. Starting from the back here, the Evolve Plus adds the power lift gate. In addition to that, if you look into the back, you're gonna also notice full moon roof if you look up at the roof there this adds the moon roof to it and for those of you that drive longer distances you're gonna like this it's a larger battery option it's gonna give you 289 miles give or take a few you might be able to get more if you're driving in the city a little bit more because these both these models offer regenerative braking the more you brake the more miles you can regenerate back on the vehicle to extend your range great thing about this battery you're also gonna enjoy a little bit more to convert it horsepower equivalent so it's be a much more powerful uh, battery can't say engine uh, on these vehicles and a couple things that people enjoy if you want to look in here I'm gonna swing around and show you one of the main differences between this one other than what we noticed in the other one this one offers a wireless charging pad located here and retractable tray really great if you're sitting around waiting it's large enough to hold a laptop you can plug it in because if you need the extra cords as you notice the center console moves back multiple cord points that you can plug in to charge your devices and a cord organizer so you don't get them all tangled this allows you to have everything plugged in you can mount your laptop whatever you need to do so say you're stuck at a place charging for a while you can set up your laptop do some entertainment get some work done whatever you need so those are the main differences between the two models of the Arias that we have here on the lot. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. We'll be happy to answer them.